Alright guys, I'm back with another video. Today we are having tacos for Taco Tuesday. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make some refried beans as well as some Spanish rice that we're going to be eating with our tacos. I'm just going to be um, cooking some ground beef for the, ground, um, the crunchy tacos and from my last video, I saved my steak and my chicken that I'm going to make quesadillas with. So that's what we're going to have. Stay tuned for our mukbang because it will be coming up soon with tacos with Jamari McNeil. Okay, I'm going to show you my ingredients and we'll get started. Alright, for my refried beans, I have about I have a couple of um, pinto beans that were cooked previously. To that, I'm going to add some minced garlic. And I'm also going to add in some cumin. I'm not going to use any salt in this because I seasoned those beans prior to cooking. And for my uh, Spanish rice, I'm going to saute some um, white rice. This is a one cup. To the, I'm sorry, I'm also going to add in oregano to my um, refried beans. To my rice, I'm going to add in the um, caldo de tomato. And I'm going to add in some fresh onions and fresh tomatoes. Alright guys, let's get started. So I'm first going to do my refried beans. I have my pan heated up with my oil. Okay. I'm going to add in my beans. You heard them sizzling? That's what you want. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to smash my beans. This releases all the nice starches that are in the beans so that they can refry. And I'm just using a fork. You can use a potato masher if you like. You can also do this in a food processor beforehand, but I'm going to do it right here in my pan with a fork. Okay, guys? I have my heat on. Um, I had it on high. To heat up my oil and it was about a tablespoon and a half of oil then I turn it down to a medium for the cooking of my refried beans next thing I'm going to add in is a little garlic about a teaspoon I have a teaspoon to a teaspoon I think that more a teaspoon for about a half a cup of pinto beans I'm going to add in a little bit of oregano I'm going to shake a couple shakes of that in there Okay. I am going to grab a little bit of water and add some cumin. Okay, I have a little bit of water, about two tablespoons. I'm only going to start with one. And this just helps thin out my beans. I'm going to add in about a quarter teaspoon of cumin because I want that flavor, the Mexican flavor. So I have my cumin in. And I'm going to add in the rest of my water and let this cook down. Doesn't take very long to make refried beans. Real simple process. Okay, if you guys can see that, bring you a little closer. And I have refried beans. Real simple, guys. Okay, next thing we're going to do is our rice. I'm going to put that to the back. I have a pot here that I'm going to cook my rice in. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, guys. In my pot, I have um, about two and a half tablespoons of canola oil um, that I'm going to use to brown off or toast up my rice. So I'm going to do that first. It's already been heated. So I have my rice in my pot. I'm going to let that toast up a little bit, turn translucent. Okay. We're looking for a translucent 
rice. This takes about, I'm going to turn my stove up just a tad. It's going to take about three to four minutes. While that's doing that, bring you guys in a little closer so you can see it. I'm going to get my two cups of water. As before, we always use cold water with our rice. Sunday. We gotta do a cherry bomb Sunday one day. 